That sounds horrible. I need to tune my violin, but I don't know how. Hey violinists, it's Rani with Let's Talk Violin. Today's video is the ultimate guide on how to tune your strings properly. Out of tune strings will result in out of tune playing, so it's important to start your practice on the right note. The violin has four strings, and they are called from left to right, G, D, A, and E. And they should sound exactly like this. The violin can be tuned in two different ways. One is by using the pegs, and the other is to use the fine tuners down here. Both the pegs and the fine tuner follow the righty-tighty, lefty-loosey rule which means that if you turn the peg or the fine tuner to the right, it tightens the string and raises the pitch. And if you turn it to the left, it loosens the string and lowers the pitch. The pegs cover a much broader range. So if your string is really far from your desired pitch, then turn the peg to get it closer to where you want it. But if the string is really close to your desired pitch, then use the fine tuner to make a final adjustment. To be able to tune them the exact same way every time, I highly recommend you download a tuning app. There's lots of good options on the market, but I really like to use ClearTune. Let's try tuning the violin together. There are two ways of using the tuning app. One is the drone method, where the tuning app just plays a sound that you then match your string to. And then the other way is the needle method, which visually shows you if you need to go higher or lower. I'll show you both ways. It's easiest to sit down when you're tuning your violin. That way you can rest the instrument on your thighs for some resistance and use both hands for the peck turning. We'll begin with the A string. Play the note A on your tuner. We're going to get the A string to match the sound from this tuner. As you can hear, my string is way off, so I'll have to turn my peg. The peg that the A string is attached to is the top right peg. Let's begin by loosening the peg first. Remember the righty-tighty, lefty-loosey rule. We loosen the peg by turning it to the left. Now turn it up slowly and push the peg into the scroll as you turn it up so that the peg doesn't slip. Hold the scroll with your left hand for extra resistance and push the violin into your thighs. Now pluck the A string to see if it matches the pitch from your tuner. If the string sounds lower than the tuner, turn it up some more. If it sounds higher, turn it down. Now that we've tuned the A string, we're going to move over to the D string, which is on the left side. For the D string, we will use the top left peg. Now let's tune it the same way that we tuned the A string. First, loosen the peg by turning it down. Then turn it up and push it into the scroll simultaneously. Hold the scroll with your right hand for resistance. Now it's time for the G string. For that, we will use the bottom left peg. Repeat the same steps as with the other strings. Last but not least is our E string. The E string is the thinnest and most delicate string, so you wanna be very careful when you tune the E string so that it doesn't snap. Pro tip, turn your violin away from you when you're tuning the E string so that it doesn't snap into your face. The E string is attached to the bottom right peg. Let's use the needle method for this one. We'll begin by loosening the string by turning the peg to the left. Now we'll turn the peg gently and slowly to the right, plucking the string often so we don't overshoot it. The needle will show me how I'm doing. If the needle is left of the center, my string is too low, and if the needle is right of the center, my string is too high. Our goal is to get the needle to be right in the center of the letter E. Be careful not to turn the peg too fast or the string may break. As you can see, my needle is almost at the center, so I'm going to move on to using my fine tuner for the final adjustment. And it's centered, we're done. Some violins have fine tuners for all the strings, Mine only has one for the E string. So because I have to rely on my pegs to do most of my tuning, it's actually easier to have the violin up as I do it, like this. 
Eventually, you'll be able to tune like a pro using your bow, which makes it even easier to hear. Congratulations, you just tuned your violin and now you're ready to start playing. I know tuning can be a little bit tricky and overwhelming at first, but it just takes some practice. The more you practice tuning your violin and the more you get to know your instrument, the easier it'll get. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our next episode on Beginner Basics where we will talk about how to learn a song. I'm Rani Sark with Let's Talk Violin. Keep calm and play on, and I will see you in the next video. And they should sound exactly like this.